How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about road safety in terms of cars. So it's a bit of a car tech video but slightly different. This is something that's close to my heart because this is all about safety on the road whether as a driver or as a pedestrian. It's something that's very important. So you guys might know about Volvo cars. I've worked with them in the past and these guys are very very much focused on what car safety is all about in terms of how it benefits us as drivers as well as other road users as well around us. So a couple of weeks ago I was in Gothenburg at Volvo Cars HQ to check out the latest tech and what they're talking about, how they're going to solve this problem, the initiatives, what they're working on. And first up is Project EVA and what this is all about is Volvo Cars will be sharing 60 years worth of research with other car manufacturers or just the industry in general and what that means is they'll everyone else will be able to use this research to better their manufacturing process, making sure their cars are a lot safer on the road compared to what they are now. Next up, you guys might have heard of uh, Volvo limiting their cars to certain speed limits. Now, this is something that not everyone was quite happy about. I went from a Twitter feed and some people were a bit funny about it, some people were concerned, some people were happy about it. Me personally, I was happy about it because most of the roads in the UK anyway, we can't even go over 70 miles per hour or main road in front of my flat here i can't even go past 20 miles per hour anyway so having a car that can go at ridiculous speeds just defeats the purpose anyway so for me that's absolutely fine and we all know that speed is number one killer for example so speeding means you your reaction time is affected and you're not in full control so these things are affected so limiting the speeds is very good so besides speeds, another main factor is distraction. So for example, whether you're intoxicated, maybe you're playing with your car stereo, whatever you're doing in the car, you might just easily be distracted by what's going on around you or even even using your phone, which you're not supposed to do, by the way, but checking your phones whilst, whilst driving or being distracted by the notification going off, that kind of stuff can distract you from uh, road, like the road ahead of you. The Volvo cars are thinking of installing cameras in the cars and sensors that would intervene if the driver seems to be intoxicated or distracted whilst driving so it might be in form of if you've left your hands after staring for too long your eye starts to drift for example or you're just drifting off the road it means that they can then ring the car through the car assistance service they can ring you to make sure that you're okay if you're not okay if there's no response after a certain time the car itself can then use self-driving technology to safely park the car on the side road until some sort of safety vehicle comes along to save you save you and make sure everything's okay or just check on you or by luck, maybe you're just drifting, that will wake you up so that you know what you're doing and you're back on road and you're fully focused. I think this is great as well. That's another great, great initiative in making sure that we're safe when we're driving on the road. Another one is Volvo Care Key, which I actually really like. The idea of it is you get a key fob, which means you can then set the limit, uh, speed limit for your car before you borrow it to someone else. So if you have a kid, for example, who's just passed their driving test and they're about to go out, on road with their friends, what you what you might be worried, they might get hyped in the car and start speeding, doing over the limits, for example, or doing all kind of things. You don't know, but what might put your mind at rest is the fact that you can set a speed limit based on the kind of roads they're going to be using on their journey. So if they're only going down the road to the shops, you might want to set set the speed limit to thirty miles per hour, so they can't go over. So no matter what they try to do, they just have no control over that. And I think that's pretty cool. It means if I'm to leave my car behind while I go while I go on holiday. People that's going to be using my car, I know that they're not going to be doing things that they're not supposed to be doing while I'm away. So all this great technology from Volvo begs the question whether or not car manufacturers should be obliged or be have that responsibility to install technology in cars and sensors that allows them to change user or driver behaviour. I mean, would you like a camera to be installed in your car, for example? Do you want your car speed limit to be set or you want that choice? We don't know. It begs that question, but guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to find out more about all this technology that I've talked about in more detail, I'll leave links in the description area so you guys can find out more. In the meantime, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a new video on this channel. In the meantime, I'm Tommy. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.